Alright ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, got some mowers here. At this point, we don't really know what's going to be filmed today, so uh, hope you enjoy. Alright, so we got uh, Wes's LT 1500 today, and the semi more uh, improved from last time LT 4000. It's got some more bracing done and uh, a new bumper, so we're gonna go test out, see how everything works, and uh, see if we can't find some cool trails to hit. Gonna go make a fuel stop before we head into the woods. In case you guys are new to the channel, Wes's uh, LT 1500 here. It's an automatic, but he has pulley swapped it and diff lock, so it's just as good as a manual. Well, we've received some uh, some semi bad news here on the trails. You can't see it now, but as I said, as we said, this diff is locked. So if I pick this wheel up, it shouldn't spin. It spins, and this one doesn't. The diff unlocked itself. We have unlocked the diff on this. Uh, Craftsman LT 1500. What that means, luckily, this is the axle in here is in a carrier system. 
in close space, so it's really not that hard to weld back again. I wonder how that came apart, or if the weld's broke, or if something... The weld's broke. We, we welded it to the outer case. Huh. Because you can't reach in and weld the spider. So, yeah. tip for LT1500, guys, you can't really weld into the spider gears that well. So what ended up happening here is it was welded to the case, which was fine on all other occasions, but when you come up on something like this or something that requires a ton of flex, it'll stress this out and break off the case. So Yeah, so this has an internal case for the spider gears, yeah, the right? Yeah, spider gears are cased inside of their own small thing. It's kind of a, it's a nice system. They Don't they bolt to the case kind yeah, of bolts? Yeah, they're pressed together from the factory and they're super, um, what it means for the system is that you can take it out with one hand and you won't mess up the alignment Yeah. the spider gears. So, well, now we got, it's got some work to do on the old... Yeah, I gotta weld this, and I was already gonna make a bumper for it, so I got more work to do with this thing. back through it now. You know, you know when you park it, you gotta gotta flex it out. Like, I feel like a Jeep owner right now. There's a difference between stock flex and modified flex, which is kind of what this video. Yeah. Proved. Yeah. So this is just the stock stock flex. Plenty though. I mean, for mud, this is kind of a mud mower, yeah, trail mower hybrid, hybrid mower. mower. So for mud mowing, this is great. Trail mowing, it does fine. It's not um, too bad. But yeah, it's, it's not too bad. Yeah, definitely better. <laughs> better when you're diff locked. I mean, I guess this what probably ends this. Yeah, that's probably the end of this. Probably ends the uh, segment of uh, tea and mowers. Tea sweet and tea mowers, and mowers. Sweet tea and mowers. Which, sweet, sweet tea and mud mowers. I guess trail mowers. In this trail video. mowers, I suppose. Yeah. This but, one needs a bump. It look cool. Yeah. So after this um, this ride, basically, it's got some rear end stuff to do. Yeah. And he's working on a bumper too. Here's a little sneak peek at what's coming up. It's kind of vaguely reminiscent of the 70s push bar bumper. And that's what it's going to be. And you'll see that soon because I have to get this done here because there's a better bandsaw here. I mean, it's going to look awesome when I get some lights. So now is this going to be on your channel or NW? So. It's going to be on my channel. Uh, capital W space capital P. We can, uh, we'll, we'll link can it up, link there. up there. And uh, that's where you'll find it. I'm just doing a quick, quick, quick little sneak bumper peek here. Sneak peek right here. Yeah. But anyways, sneak peek. Know? This is the uh, this is the end of uh, sweet tea and mowers. Sweet tea and mowers. <laughs> so until next time, subscribe.